Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. Thank you to our sponsor, Globe Turnout Gear. I'm Nick Martin, and today we're going to talk about some combat ready setup of your ladder company and some one firefighter ladder throws. Before we get the alarm, we should spend all the time that we can to make sure our apparatus is set up for performance before we even get to the fire ground. One way we can apply that to the setup of our portable ladders is by using a concept called tip in, tip out. The majority of fire trucks that you'll see have the ladder bed with all of the feet of the ladders facing the outside. What we've done here is staggered them so that every spot that we have multiple of the same type or size of ladders, such as two 35-foot ladders or two 24-foot ladders, we've staggered them so that one has the tip out and one has the foot out. The advantage of that is depending on where we are going with our objective. If I'm going to take this, if I'm going to take a ladder and ladder side A of this fire building over here, I'm going to look to choose one of the ladders, ideally that has the foot out. That's going to allow me to go right into the building without making a turn. If I were to take a ladder foot first to side C of the building, when I get to the rear of that building, I'm going to need to spin that ladder 180 degrees around. In many rear yards, due to fences and play sets, etc., you're not going to have that kind of room. By taking the tip to the rear, all I need to do is drop my foot to the building and go into my raise. To demonstrate how we can throw our ladder quickly with one firefighter, I'll show you how to get a 24-foot ladder up to this window quickly and efficiently. Many of our departments are operating with reduced manpower, and the ideal scenario of having two firefighters for this task may not be a reality. First, we select our proper height ladder, and in this case, going to the front of this building, I'm going to, I'm going to choose a ladder with the tip out. I take my 24-foot ladder out, identify my balance point, and I look to put that with my bed section up against my body. That's going to become important as I go to throw my ladder. Taking my ladder from the rig, I identify my objective. My first step is going to be to place the foot directly against the building. And then here using my left arm, using my elbow, I roll that ladder with the fly section to the building, contacting the other foot on the ground and using the building to brace the feet as I raise it straight up. Now in this position, you might see a lot of firefighters that try and go right into raising the fly. I find that it makes it easier if I give myself a little bit of room by bringing this out just about a foot or so, and I'm gonna use my inside leg here against the bottom rung to brace the ladder. So as I go to pull this fly section, it's gonna pull the tip out away from the building using my shin as a fulcrum, and I can raise my ladder to the proper height. Once I've got it to the proper height, I can drop my, my foot, my feet out, and I can then use my ladder to take the initial ventilation of the window by getting the top panes. Once I've broken the window with that and possibly taken the sash out, I can adjust my ladder. Flip it over. place it at my proper climbing height, and it's ready for use. If I need to adjust my height, I can do that very easily by flipping it back over, taking my halyard, using my inside leg again, dropping it down as many rungs as I need to, and then repositioning it. Being able to properly and quickly deploy our ladders is one of the most important things we can do for firefighter egress, access, and for civilian rescue. We need to make sure our rigs are set up in advance to make it combat ready, make it ready to deploy in an efficient manner, and we need to be able to throw our ladders with minimal manpower whenever possible. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, and thanks to our sponsor, Globe Turnout Gear.